We are here at Click Connect 2024. I have the pleasure of being joined by Martin Kostich, CEO of Infinity. Martin, great to see you. Thank you so much for making time to catch up with me. Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you very much. Hello. Good to meet you <laughs> finally meet in you. person. <laughs> in fact, I was talking to Chris Powell, the CMO, Chief Marketing Officer for uh, for, for Click just earlier, and, and, and we were just joking about the fact that uh, <laughs> last year, one of the things that was quite unique is after the whole lockdown period, so to finally see people where yeah, they went yeah. flat. Re re and people. again, now we're seeing 3D people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I imagine that's a lot of kind of what these events are all about now, is yeah. getting back into connecting real people, seeing them people exactly. in person, and being able to have real conversations beyond just those short little Zoom discussions. I wonder if we could kick off, uh, I've got some, a whole bunch of things I want to walk through, but mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if we could just kick off with you introducing your company, Infinity, mm -hmm. and tell us a little bit about you know, the sorts of customers that you have, the type of work you deliver with them, mm -hmm. and then we'll sort of circle back into your role around that space as well, yeah. and then some of the things we've seen this week. Absolutely, thank you. So, you know, I, I've been in Click ecosystem for uh, 15 years. Wow. So it's been quite a long time that I've been like around uh, with uh, That's fantastic. Um, you know, uh, solutions, uh, bringing customers value from data. Yep. And uh, about four, uh, five years ago, uh, I, I saw like I, maybe the next challenge could be to build something that could add more value to Click right. As, uh, right. as, as, as a product, right? So, because uh, we had customers asking us for, for certain uh, capabilities, especially to enter data into Click yep. and to interact with Click, right? And that's actually how the idea of Infinity came. Right. And it actually proves uh, to be right. If you look at the framework of Click, I know the, yeah, yeah. the framework that has been presented at the, at the general session yesterday, you know, showing the data uh, the, and, and trust in data, access, uh, analytics, predictions, yep. and action. Right? right, right. And basically, Infinity fits into this action action box, yep. enabling people to act upon data. Fantastic. Now, I, I, I know when we were talking off camera before, we were talking about your role overall as CEO. You, you've actually got a fairly unique way that you approach that sort of CEO role. I wonder if you could sort of describe what uh, a life uh, is like for you on a day-to-day -day basis or what life, a uh, day in the life of, of Martin uh, Kostic is like, not just running Affinity, but also working with your customers and your customer base in dealing with some of those, because it's not just a traditional CEO role. You're actually practitioner, you're hands-on, and yeah. you're delivering outcomes yeah. yourself. So you do all of that. What's a day in your life like these days? The, the downside is that I, I can't answer this question because I don't remember. <laughs> I always say that I'm, I'm the chief dishwasher. Um, but when you think about your role, um, it, it's, it's, it's less sort of, sort of the, it's, it's less sort of the traditional CEO yeah, 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 administrator, yeah. and it's more practical hands-on. Yeah, is that yeah, a fair to say? Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, I try to be in touch with, uh, with customers and, and with people, so, yeah. because it's very important to get feedback, to, to listen to what they have to say, and that, that's how we develop things. You yeah. know, we, yeah. we work with customers and partners closely very much and, 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 and listen to what they say, right? And, it, and if you don't know the answer to a question, then ask a customer, right? Yep. Or, or ask a smart colleague, an expert who is, uh, who is very skilled. So apart from doing everything, you know, I'm trying to be in touch yeah. with yeah. customers, partners, and, and, and amazing colleagues, experts, and I'm trying to figure out what the trends are. But that's not where the work ends, you know, for, yeah, for a CEO, yeah. because you have to get it to reality. You yes. have to get it to practice, you know. You have to be able to try some uh, outcomes. Exactly, and that's actually the differentiator between a vision and a success, right? Yep. You have to make it work, right? And that is basically what it is. There's been some really exciting announcements over the last couple of days, yeah. uh, whether it's the, uh, you know, the, the amazing success story that is the acquisition talent and the integration of all its capabilities that essentially has, has resulted in the outcome of the talent data cloud mm -hmm. integrated into the Click ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And at the other end of the spectrum, we've got the likes of a couple of new, newest acquisitions, slightly mm -hmm. smaller, mm -hmm. that have resulted in, in products like uh, Click Answers mm -hmm. and the ability to work with uh, less structured or unstructured data, things mm -hmm. that we might just have an email attachment or sitting on our laptop and, de and Windows and PC desktops and whatnot, or even just, you know, whatever the case may be, spreadsheets put everywhere, email attachments mm -hmm. everywhere, mm -hmm. um, and then actually being able to have a conversation with it. What are your thoughts around some of those big things? Maybe just start with the, the talent data yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts on that general, and where does that fit into kind of some of the problems that you yeah. cha you know, challenge yeah. with, with your Ab clients? Absolutely, I, I have to say I love the, the vision and the direction uh, that, that I can see. Um, you know, if you look at the whole area of AI, right? So uh, you have all the cool stuff that you yep. can see in AI, all the areas that you can actually handle with AI and AI replacing humans and so on. Really cool, right? Yep. <laughs> but in reality, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we have to have data Right, right. Yep. So we have to we have to have AI ready data, and the problem with AI ready data is that AI ready data has to be AI ready for a particular use case. Right, and that means, yep. you know, 
Do you know which use case? You don't. You know, you have yep. thousands, you have millions of use cases, and you never know which use case you're going to handle, right? Yep. So what do you need? You need a tool, a platform, that will be able to set up this AI-ready data in, in that particular use case that you're going to solve, right? Yes, yes. And, and that is what I see with, with the QDI and, and, and talent integration, because Click has historically been quite strong in, in, in doing difficult things in a simple way, right? Yep. And that's what I see with this product. So, yeah, so yeah. simplifying, and that means making it more agile. So really being yep. able to, to handle various use cases and building AI-ready data for these use cases. And so, I imagine it gives you flexibility as well, because you don't have to have any infrastructure, you don't have to have anything installed. You, you can put your data safely into yeah. the data cloud. You can scale it up and down, you can build models, you can run them iteratively. You might just prove the model once and then get the data out knowing it's clean and washed and verified or, or whatever the case may be. Or you may have a bunch of predictive analysis you want to run on it thousands thousands of times. And you're, you're only really paying for what you use. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can stay within your, your time frames or your, your budget constraints or resource constraints yeah. um, and then potentially bring it back somewhere else. Exactly. At the other end of the spectrum, the, 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 the uh, ease of access to generative AI, and particularly the, the use of data sets that aren't normally integrated into business intelligence and other things like that, um, how does that play into kind of what you're doing? Because I know a lot of what you do is take, for example, you said spreadsheets and, and various data mm -hmm. where people are doing manual mm -hmm. data entry, yeah. full of risk, yeah, 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 yeah. potentially, you know, putting your data into a spreadsheet, email to somebody, modify it, email back <laughs> two or three times and no one knows who owns it again. Um, that generative AI element where you now not only find information from data sources, data sets that we do, it wouldn't easily have worked before, but also being able to talk to that. Yeah. How does that impact what you're up to? I imagine that's a, a pretty big change because now you can build something and actually provide it to people who aren't technically competent or exactly you know AI competent. Yeah, so they can just talk to it in plain language. I, I absolutely agree because um, um, we can we can look at uh, both things. We can look at uh, a Gen AI and the development in in, in a click yeah. ecosystem, and we can look at uh, machine learning and improvements within the, this area, right? And both areas that actually Click is working on allow you to do difficult things in a, in a simple way, right? Yep. In a much more simple, simple way. So you get outcomes, you get results from, from AI, but if you get the outcomes, you know, what, what do you need? You know, you need a human to act. Again, yeah, yeah. coming back to the action ability, right? And that's where, if you're asking, how do we fit in? You know, we fit in exactly here. So that's, if your machine learning algorithm evaluates something, some predictions, some, yeah, yeah. some, some, some important factors that influence some numbers or some, some, some results, right? And you, you're going to make a decision. Uh, you're going to send some data somewhere. You're going to take some action, right? Do some approval, for example, or, or maybe set up some planning, forecast, right. whatever, right? Yep. So this is where we, we come in and we enable this. So you can enter your plans, your forecast, you can approve, you can uh, process your workflows, right? Based on what has been evaluated. And it's also very important in building trust uh, right, in, right. in AI and building trust in data to be able to adjust and modify the values. And, and you know, sometimes, you know, as we know, AI is not like 100% accurate. You know, they say ChatGPT is 75% accuracy. Right. You can choose various right. LLMs, but accuracy will vary based on use case and type of data. Yeah. So in the end, you need this human element, the human augmentation, yeah, yeah. And kind of human-led AI. I Oversee say, it yeah. and govern it. Um, yeah, we could have a we could have a whole day's conversation <laughs> just on that alone. Absolutely. Uh, you, you gave me some pretty interesting <laughs> things there. Um, when we were talking off camera, in fact, you, you spoke to one of those key points. Um, and maybe we can come back into that with regard to what Infinity does. Uh, you, you mentioned that a lot of what you see now is this challenge, and I think it's one of the core five principles of what has been covered here this week, and certainly fits into the, the core messaging of what Click is getting across, which is you know, uh, that whole space of um, AI development and decision making really does, as you see, need to be human-led or governed by humans. Mm -hmm. um, and as I said off camera, you mentioned that you spend a lot of time working with your customers and, and looking at how you can make AI practical and how you can get real value from not just your data and AI and yeah. as you said, quote unquote, to bring it to people. Exactly. Um, I'd love to kind of get some insight into kind of where Click plays into that, which yeah. parts of the Click ecosystem tools you use to make that happen. So maybe walk us through what that looks like as a, a not just a data pipeline or a process and then which parts of Click you leverage to make that happen because yeah. that's a fairly complex challenge. Exactly. But it, I imagine a lot of what Click offers makes that simpler or even possible. Yeah. Well, exactly. Um, as, as you mentioned, so our role basically is to, to, to bring the, all of these amazing things to people. Yep. Right? But when you start to talk to people, you, know, you, you find them in some business reality, you know, let's say. And this business reality is often about 
uh, spreadsheets, you know, yep. do, um, maybe if they, even if they have some BI, they export it into Excel spreadsheets. They send these spreadsheets, spreadsheets over the place, uh, ask other people to enter yeah, some yeah, data, yeah. consolidate all this information. And then, you know, this, these use cases, use cases can be anything, but ma mainly uh, like a large, large part of these, these use cases is, is around planning right. and, and providing right. some forecasting feedback and so yeah. on. That's why we recently released, actually last week, we released a new planning extension, because mm -hmm. Infinity has been used for planning for forever. Right. I'll say 100 years, but it's not 100 years. At least 15, let's say. <laughs> let's say. <laughs> long, half long, half long the long lifetime long. of Click, whereas the Click's been around for 31 uh, years, you've been around uh, for 15, so. Yeah, yeah. That's no so, small feat, by the way. That's be, pretty be, impressive. Been a long time, really, been a long time. So, yeah. so and, and this is exactly the challenge to, to, to save time to people. Yep. And, and this has really like, amazing business benefits. Like, we have yeah. examples, customers that we help to save like, tens of millions of, of, of euros or dollars, yep. you, know, you count it, uh, yearly just on optimizing this planning, making more governed, right. and adding this AI element and, and, and human element to actually uh, augment this, th th these results. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so removing spreadsheets, uh, this is a big topic. So when you come to people, you have to help them to uh, take the, their solution to the next level, and that is usually away from spreadsheets to something more governed, something, something And, and wh better. where are you leveraging Click's capabilities in, in that sort of process? Yeah, yeah, so Click basically, uh, covers the whole end-to-end -end, uh, okay. process from data integration, data preparation, data quality, through analytics, um, predictions, and now Gen AI, document AI, which is like a natural you know, yeah, yeah. first step for in AI for, for business, I'd say. So in the data analytics part, Click is, uh, is perfect to you know prepare all the da dashboards visualizations, but then uh, uh, what happens is that you have to take some action. You have to do something about, yeah, about the yeah. data, right? And that's where we fit in with Infinity. So we leverage Click in preparing the data and, and basically making the platform ready for people to use the analytics and, and, and get the insights and make the decisions. And then we augment it with this actionability so they can take action, they can, they can make a decision, they can set, set, set up some approval, they can enter some information. And uh, basically that's how it becomes real. Yeah? Fantastic. And I've been talking to people here at the booth uh, all the time, two, yeah. two days yeah. uh, of, of amazing discussions. I could, um, I could tell you use cases and use cases where this is absolutely a very strong reality. And uh, you, know, you can imagine people with uh, highly educated, highly paid, with great vision, doing mundane tasks, consolidating Excel right, spreadsheets right. of all yeah. sorts, right? So this is what we want to change. Yeah, yeah, well, it's a game changer in many ways because it's a morale booster because they're not doing boring work. Uh, they're getting better outcomes, which again, uh, drives the, the business forward. Exactly. And then from an executive level, you're getting more sponsorship and probably more funding yeah. to do more projects because you're delivering great value. And the potential that you can actually yeah, unleash. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and move everything forward. Amazing. Yeah. Well, Martin, what an amazing uh, opportunity to have a conversation with you and great to get insights. And I will definitely be spending some time on your booth to, uh, to have a look at uh, number 410, I believe it is, to get your inside yeah. story there. Uh, and thanks for making time to catch up with me. And it's been great to have you on the show. And, and hopefully we'll have you back again soon. But in the meantime, safe travels back home. And, and hopefully the rest of the event goes well for you. Thank you very much. It was a great pleasure for me thank <laughs> to you, chat with you. And thank really you. Really appreciate it. Take care. <laughs>